Hello and welcome. Today we've brought you to Bartlow Hills. It's a pile of hills. You can see three of them here. There's only three of them which you have access to. There's four of them in total. Uh, one of them's on private land, you can't get to that one. Uh, there used to be, hang on, seven. There used to be seven of them, but the others have been flattened from when they're making roads and putting things through, you know, modern life stuff to flatten them. But they're not just hills, they're quite special. These are Roman burial mounds. What's incredibly exciting is this one here, this huge one here, 15 metres high. That is the tallest burial mound in Britain. Oh yes, the tallest, the very tallest. Now there is one at, I think it's called Sudbury Hill, Sudbury Hill, have you heard of that? Sudbury. Sudbury. Yeah. Sudbury Hill. Um, but they're not sure if that was a burial mound or not. They've not excavated it. They've excavated this one. That is the largest known burial mound in the whole of the United Kingdom. And the largest north of the Alps in Switzerland. So it's the largest in the north of Europe. That makes it special. Enjoy your hill. Come on, let's applaud the biggest hill, the biggest burial mound in the north of Europe. That's impressive. So these have been excavated in the years between 1832 and 1840. Over eight years they excavated this and they found some really interesting things inside. I'll just run through the list, yeah? <coughs> there were some large wooden chests. Yeah, that excited me as soon as I heard that. Also, decorated vessels in bronze, uh, glass and pottery and iron folding chair. An iron folding chair, that must have been like a Roman's version of a deck chair, but they made it out of iron. Why did they make it out of iron and not wood? If you're going to make a folding chair, they obviously want it to be portable, but iron's quite heavy. You know, just, just a little tip for Roman people, make them out of wood next time, they're a lot lighter. So they date back to early Roman times, uh, about 100 AD, well exactly 100 AD, it wasn't 99 AD, it was 100 AD, that's the year they did these. And they were built by really important, um, fabulously rich Iron Age Celtic chiefs, oh yeah they built these. Must have been very, very important people who were buried here, really important. So when they excavated them, they found some really interesting treasures inside. There were some cremations, some bodies, they found dead people. Um, and they found things like, one of the things they found were Roman, like, uh, statues and figurines of what they call really saucy things. They were right into the sex object kind of thing. So there'll, there'll have been statues of men with big things and women with big things and no things. And you know, I'm, you know where I'm coming from. There were probably some statues of men and women together doing things with the big things and their other big things and the no things. I, I don't, I haven't seen any pictures. I don't know what you're laughing at. This is a serious documentary. Sorry. Uh, I don't know exactly what they looked like, but it just says on here, um, the Romans were into interesting, how shall I say, sexual objects. In fact, it doesn't even say figurines, it might have been sex toys. I don't know what they were, but something to do with Romans and sexy things were found in the graves with the dead people. Now, one of the reasons we don't know exactly what was in there, what they look like, we do know some of the things, we've got pictures on a board over there of some of the things, but the sex objects, there's no pictures of them and I don't know what they looked like. And that's because the excavators are saying 1832 to 1840, but in 1847, all these artefacts had been taken to Bartlow Hall, just, just across there or there or there, I don't know where it is. Um, and in 1847, there was a big fire, an accidental fire, and it all got destroyed, which is terrible, absolutely terrible, because they didn't have photographs in them days, so there's no photographic evidence of what exactly they looked like. Uh, so a bit gutted. I wanted to see the sex toys, I wanted to show you them, but never mind, we've still got the hills.
and the stories. So all these grave goods which they found, they, they were all from Europe, they'd all been imported from Europe. So this was obviously a very high status family or families. I don't know how it worked. Maybe this, this being the biggest, this might have been like the like a king of the time. Not a king, but someone really, really important. This might be a full family just devoted to one family. That might be another family not quite as special. That might be a scuffer family, you know, a cheap, rubbish family. I don't know. No, you'd, no, they were probably high up as well. High up families buried in these. You'd have to be, wouldn't you? You know, because normally you'd just get like a six foot long, seven foot long maybe by maybe three foot wide hole six foot deep and you put in there and that's it. Someone went to a lot of trouble to do this and they didn't have a JCB digger to do it. So the actual burials were in inside each of these and it's like a, a brick tomb, like a stone chamber inside. And when they actually buried them, the, there's evidence they found oil lamps inside. Um, there's evidence that them lamps were actually burning when they covered it up because they found them and they found like the wax ar around the lamps and a wick. Oh my God. <laughs> you scared me. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello you. I thought it were foxes. <laughs> so we've just had a little stroke with them and been talking to the owner. He's been telling us to go into the church. There's some more stuff in the church. So we'll pop in there on the way back. But just getting back to this story, they found these, uh, I've lost, I've lost my thread now, I was doing really well. <laughs> oh, lamps. <laughs> yeah, these lamps. So they found these lamps, they, they reckon that they covered it up whilst they were still alight. And there's, the evidence of that is they found like wax around them and the wicks are only half burnt. It's as if they were burning away and then they just went out whilst they were in there. So why they used to have these lamps lit in, in the tombs when they covered it, Nobody knows. You can only guess. Um, leave comments. What, tell me what you think they did that for. So that's inside. We've just got one last thing to do here. Go up them. Let's go up this one. The biggest in the country. In the, in the north of England. In the north of Europe. We'll get there eventually. Stop laughing. Come on. So here we are on top of the biggest burial mound in the United Kingdom, in the north of Europe. It's quite an impressive view, it's pretty high. Um, I'm liking this. Now I can show you in more detail. This is quite central, the big one. You've got the next biggest here, and then at the far side there's another one which is much smaller. There's a railway gone through there so it's pretty flattened. And then if you come over here please, There's your other big one. And then down here, there were three more, much smaller ones. One there, there, and there, I believe, I've just been told. So that is the full seven hills, and we're on top of the biggest one. A Roman burial mound from 100 AD. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. So whilst we're at Bartlow Hills, which is just down a footpath down there, uh, we're coming into the church. Now this is only the one of two churches in Cambridgeshire with a round tower. Quite unusual for this part. That's more in Norfolk is the round ones. Um, but yeah, let's have a look inside because the man who opens the church um, has te been telling us about a few things inside. I want to see them, should be good. So we're inside the church now and uh, there's these amazing wall paintings behind me. Can you see these? The good thing is there's a little light switch. You press the switch and it lights them up better so you can see them better. But they're from the 15th century. Another one there. They're from the 15th century. And in the tower itself, um, the original bell's there from, the fifth, from 1440, I think it said. And the, the guy who opened the door, he said, if he'd been around, he'd let us go up there, but he's not. 
he had to go, but uh, that would have been quite cool. And there's a bit of a story about Oliver Cromwell here. I have to tell you this one. Oliver Cromwell's men, when they were in this area, they used this as a stable. All his horses came into this church and took over it. So yes, we just wanted to pop into this church to see these wall paintings, which are amazing. Tell you that Oliver Cromwell's horses were in here. And there is another little story. I can't remember what the man said. I think it was that the holy water... You know how when, when they used to wash the hands as they're coming in and going out? I don't know if it was there or a different part. I can't find anything on it. Um, but they used to... The holy water was somewhere and then... Oliver Cromwell's men came along and bricked it up so that people couldn't use it anymore. So, anyway, that's the church. Just wanted to get that, that bit in. So that's Bartlow Hills. What did you think of Bartlow Hills? Really good. Really good. For a few hills, it's, yeah. it's quite impressive. Good story. And the tallest, the biggest burial mound in the north of Europe. That's special. Thanks for joining on this one. Would you like to give the place a mark out of ten, please? Eight. Eight? Nine. Nine? <laughs> wow. I'll give it a seven. It, at the end of the day, it is just a few hills. Okay. We'll give it a seven. Um, yeah, but you've got to compare it to what we do give tens for. Yeah. It's not a Norwich castle, is it? <laughs> um, yeah, impressive. Thanks for joining. See you next time on the Travel Troll. Goodbye. Bye-bye. And remember, people, we're doing this for Peterborough Soup Kitchen to try and raise some money to give some warm meals for some homeless people at this cold time of year. So please do consider donating. We have had another donation in overnight. It was from Stefan Dex for £10. So thank you very much, Stefan Dex. Um, please get the donations coming in. Link in the description, along with links to all these other things you can see around my head. See you next time. Goodbye.